Perhaps the better question is what don't I have planted? <laughs> we got some black eyed Susans. We got some sedums. I just put that Russian sage in. I had to dig out a big ass bowl all around it, big and deep, because the two last things had died. So I evacuated everything and put in fresh soil. We'll see what happens. That hosta probably getting too much sun. Some heuchera, I think is how you say it. Some grass. Of course, we've got the cone flowers. Um, this one is Butterfly Rainbow Marcella. I love just the ombre kind of features on them. I just put one Joe Pie weed, second Joe Pie weed I think is already hiding in on, down under there. So I just got those in. I was like, it's a weed. Do I want it? Apparently, yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, more cone flowers, more grasses, more hookera. That's where my condensation line comes out from my um, AC, so it always gets wet down there. Whatever, the grass seems to be loving it. More Black Eyed Susans. So I just wanted to see how th big things got, and now I'm just starting to fill in when I find stuff um, affordably, or I have a friend now who said she really wants to split some off, stuff off for me. I just like the different pops of color, and this really just gets light in the morning, so that it's just kind of like a nice shady, shady spot in the afternoon. I just got seeds, uh, zinnia seeds, so just I'm testing some out and just put some down. I don't even know if there's enough time for them to sprout. You see the remnants, it was all like this. The whole thing all along here was nothing but just gravel and then these size pavers that were all just disgusting and whatever. So these were power washed and put here for the hose reel. Uh, let's see, Mexican sunflower in the back. No, not Mexican, false sunflower that had dried out and I thought was dead, but I planted it anyway and it's coming back. Uh, lilies that were beautiful, more cucara. That is a bleeding cart. I'll definitely be putting more of those in now that I know how petite they are. Cornflowers, hosta. That's a lemon balm. Um, back there, I think there was a dill and a parsley too, because I'm trying to feed the, the caterpillars and the butterflies. Got some uh, allium, some garden phlox. Got, just put my first milkweed in the ground. A couple little sedums, a couple little flowery crawly things, perennial ice plants. So hopefully when these spread and sprout, they're supposed to be really flowery all summer. Um, this was an anemone, anem how do you even say it? Anemone that I planted last summer. It didn't really come back too well, but I'm planning on getting more of those because they were gorgeous. Um, let's see, coming around the front, just more natives. More different types of milkweed, grasses. That stunner. I just ripped out a half dying uh, greeny type woody shrub. Planted that beautiful thing. I'm putting more dirt and mulch on her today. I'm trying to decide if my cone flowers have that, uh, whatever that disease is yellow mallows or yellow something, yellows. I can't remember the name. But yeah, they're, they're looking a little weird, some of them. My containers actually turned out really good. I think the white things were volunteers. I'm not sure how they got there. Oh, we got a little bee buzz in. And then this succulent just started growing out of the ground, out of all my containers, out of everything, uh, after we had all the rain a couple months ago. So I just let it go. It's kind of a pretty accent. My elephant ear, which I poorly planned and had crammed in there with some calla lilies originally because they were all babies and nobody was happy so I split them out and now look at it's just unfurling new leaves every single day and babies this is my other zinnia experiment here I'm really not sure why the middle container has nothing except maybe one little guy sprouting up lavender still got a go in the ground I bought that hi hardy hibiscus as a tiny little baby from Sakine Gardens early this spring, and look at how gorgeous she is. Butterfly bush gonna go in, probably gonna move that rock that got moved out of the backyard. And then I decided it would be shady enough back here for some hostas, because I love hostas, but there's just not enough shade here. And my container's up there doing good too. And my little container of sunflowers. And my bird feeder. It just keeps going. I'm hoping that the hummingbirds come too. I got a hummingbird feeder, I got a bird bath, I got a caterpillar bath, I've got a rock for the caterpillar, I mean the butterflies to, to dry their wings. I have watched all the videos, done all the things. If you build it, they will come. <laughs>